I'm mostly inspired about this way of having authentic relationships. Because um, what I knew was either um, shouting at each other or being nice. That, that was my also my way of having relationships. And being there with what I really wish for, what I really would like to what the, um, request for it, and also being able to receive the other person as they are, really changed something in my life. Um, in my relationship with myself, in my relationship with my children, I'm really, really grateful for that. And also in my working relationships. So I, and what inspires me so much is that again and again sharing and let me see, I see that it changes so, so so quickly and easily you know people are longing for having peaceful relationships and and really taking an effort and with nvc it goes so fast yeah so immediately you can see um, an improvement a change for me it's always it comes the, the the first memory of like i was in the first nine nine day event nvc offered and yeah, the basic I, I just I came there to, to change my communication with my daughter, and after a few days, it yeah, it was quite quite clear for me that it's I'm here to change myself, not just how to learn how to communicate with my daughter, but to actually change my entire way of perception, of relationship, how to relate with each other, how to relate to myself, and yeah, I'm just remembering the pictures from that that event. It was like mind-blowing in 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 nine days yeah, i could not imagine my life could be changed in nine days so much and i'm so much grateful that i was there um i like especially this part of authenticity and honesty um having authentic relationships with each other so i i really changed over the last years with nvc i even looking at pictures from from years ago, I looked like a different person. I was really shy. I was I was pleasing people, and um, I didn't enjoy the relationships in that way. And that really, really changed. So it's um, it's more peaceful that way. I thought it would be more harmonious if I'm shy and nice, but it was not. So I I've learned a completely new dimension of harmony and peace with NBC. not just theory in a workshop, but we will be there with human beings from all around the globe. We will eat together, we will sit together, and we will be um, irritated by each other sometimes. Sometimes we will laugh together or dance together, but sometimes we will find, yeah, we will wish to have something different, and then we will find support there. And I'm also inspired to have so much time and that's what I remember about my IIT that usually you go to a workshop for one day or for a weekend but there all this um, learning started and after three days I thought whoa it's not even half of the workshop yet. so I, I could go deeper and practice more and explore really different kind of topics this is also what I like the range of topics we will cover there I also like the variety of of, of, le of of topics we have there, not only in the workshops, but also it, it's living together. So it's, it touches many, many sides from do I like the food? Do I like the person sitting next to me? Do I like what they said in the group? So it's really, really practice. And I remember on the second day of my IIT, I thought, so ooh, usually the workshops are over now and I have seven days ahead of me and it went so it touched so many aspects I couldn't have dreamt of so very personally my relationship to myself my relationship to my close ones also working relationships and also the big picture and that's that's what I really like a lot of choice so that everyone wherever you are in in in, in your life situation you can choose what fits for you now what learning topic so I like this variety there a lot and this depth and the fun. I want to emphasize that there is also a lot of free time in between in the evenings, a lot of communication games, whatever you choose to do there. And this IIT that we are organizing in Austria and Slovenia in April 2024, it's uh, in a beautiful place in nature. 
So it's it's quite close to to the capitals of Slovenia, and it's 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 in Slovenia, but it's close to the Austrian border as well, and it's woody in the nature. So you can find a lot of forests, meadows, creeks. It's a spa also, so you can you can enjoy the swimming pools, saunas, stuff like that. And what I also really enjoy is that it's very much like sustainable oriented. So they have a strong policy about being almost neutral to the CO2. And they have a policy about how to use the water, how to reuse the energy and stuff like that. And also it's so beautiful. It's all made out of wood and natural materials. So it's kind of, you really kind of find it supportive to have like a personal transition in an environment like that. And also a lot of space to be to be in the nature and to, to process by walking or just going into the water or something like that. It looks so cozy and so inviting. And I'm sure that the nature part will also contribute that you know, people will really be able to kind of integrate the new knowledge and the, the changes in their lives. I really like that this is a cooperation with two countries with a lot of violent past and like we do something together. Mm -hmm. It's also kind of finding meaningful just to, uh, to show how we can work hand in hand and to how we can actually live what we preach. So it's kind of how we can live non-violence through, through this nine-day event. And this is also an agreement of the whole team. So there's also one person from Sweden, from Canada, and another planner from Austria, that we really want to, to live cooperation as a team and be a role model in that. Not only trainers giving workshop individually, but really, really live cooperation between us. And we chose a place close to the border so that regionally all of us can come um, easily. So this is the container and still it is open for everyone. It's not only for Austrians and Slovenians, because there are borders and in the thinking between many, many nations, between also different kinds of borders. So everyone is invited from every place of the world with every topics um, to practice peaceful living together. Because NVC is about meeting the human being in front of you, beyond all these ideas of um, nation, race, whatever we have, this discriminating or, or these borders we create between each other. So this, yeah, this is how we said, so we want to do an IIT together in a cooperation between co two countries. We have a team of organizers from both countries. We have a, found a place in, right at, in the middle. <laughs> it is in Slovenia, but it is cl very close to the Austrian border. And uh, it is important for me that it will not be the main topic of the IIT. We will cover a wide range of topics and everyone from every corner of the world is very welcome with whatever you want to practice. And at the same time, we as a team, we want to really, really role model how to how to live and we see in a cooperation. That's also what we talked about on the team. It's not about individuals coming and giving workshops, but we really, really want to focus on the quality of connection on the team. Um, hold this dearly that learning is easy, learning is fun. Learning happens naturally if you just lean towards it. Yes, that's that's also my learning philosophy that I want to create learning settings where we really can experience, like we did as small children, that learning is naturally, learning is easy, learning is fun. And I'm looking forward that we're going to have a lot of learning and a lot of fun and a lot of nature in a beautiful venue. And I'm looking Hope forward to see you. To see you there and a lot of people joining mm -hmm. us. Yes. Looking forward to seeing you in April 2024. <laughs>